let's talk about Alex Sar's MBL debut, I believe. He looks incredible in the MBL following up his awesome performances against Ignite. I recently made a video about his, like, I think it was mostly with his FIBA tape and some OT making the case for him as a potential number one pick. And he sure looks like it in the NBL as he lit up this game, um, mostly on defense. The, this, the box score was pedestrian, but we'll get to that later. As the isolation and block at seven foot is crazy. Not many guys guard face up in an ISO, totally flip their hips and recover. Beautiful timing. Watch like the long steps here to slow down and time up his jump perfectly to get that ball without fouling. Really impressive stuff. And <laughs> this is just comical. Um, Sar playing like aggressive hedge defense and is able to like run this guard off to the baseline. It is ridiculous. Like the speed and the mobility and the health defense breaks down here. But this is obviously a positive. Or I think this is a positive rep for Sar at least. Anyways, his his movement skill is so good also for erasing mistakes as he kind of erases his his own mistake here. He was guarding the center and he kind of spaced out. But this is a layup for like 99% of teams or like in most situations that look like this. But Sar is able to time this up, block that shot, offensive rebound, unfortunate. Uh, I don't know what's going on here, but let's move on. As again, we see Sar playing the nail and he could be one of the league's most dangerous nail defenders if he ends up honing this skill like the the instincts plus his size and length and mobility is going to make life extremely hell for ball handlers driving into free throw line extended ter territory it's not going to be fun and Sar is kind of like mistake proofing himself because of the mobility and the tools um which is interesting because there are plenty of technical mistakes that he can kind of just get away with because he is the craziest mover and he's seven feet tall. Where I'm not really sure what he's doing here. If he's hedging, he's way like too late and not far enough out. If he's trying to drop, his hips should be more neutral or at least not giving him the top foot. But look at Sar flip his hips like a like a corner and immediately erases any advantage that this point guard created from abusing Sar's initial poor technique here. And obviously, like, at the NBA level, that will need to improve. But at the moment, he can kind of get away with stuff like this, where he's recklessly hopping into closeouts. But, be but because he flips his hips, like, Prime Josh Green and Gigi Luzada, if you know, you know, like, he can contain. And that's just a great, great shot, like, great contest. But point being, he covers for a lot of his own stuff. And I think that's obviously both good and bad, and we'll need to see him progress technically but the stuff that he can do with purely tools and instincts is beyond insane where again we see him like kind of level with his driver who has momentum slides down with the long strides forces a pass out um, ends up yeah his health defense was not always great in this game but it's great stuff now we see him sliding with another ne next star bobby clintman his hip mobility he gets so low i love how choppy his feet are and how active his hands are in that like point of attack slide defense kind of role and against like wings who aren't that good like like Clinton like it's it, he's gonna have success with just his pure movement and I think the on-ball technique is generally better as he is pretty reach happy as we talked about I think in this first play is another good example of him like getting beat with his technique his hands get caught in the cookie jar great swipe baseline by this ball handler, but of course can just flip his hips and recover, and he's the best athlete on the floor, so it doesn't really matter. Um, the defense was amazing. We know it's going to be amazing. There's so much fun stuff we can do. He's so versatile. You can throw him in any role, any scheme, and he's probably going to be able to do it. Offensively, he's definitely not as good, but <laughs> I really do love the confidence that Sar is playing with. Um, I love the attack here off of the catch, kick to the corner. Very, very nice, simple perimeter stuff is what we want to see. And he is quite confident as a shooter. The shooting still isn't great, but I really appreciate that he is like able and willing to take shots like this where he doesn't like what he gets on dribble handoff. So he's just like, I have too much space, hand down, man down, I'm pulling up. And they let him do it, which I think is great. I think there are parallels, not in terms of how good he is, but this like role to Wemby, even though Sar didn't start, um, like, 
Met 92 gave Wemby a lot of the same leash, obviously to a bigger extent, but in terms of handling and taking tough shots, and I think that's good for these young ball handlers, especially ones like Saar who are pretty cerebral and can really pass as well as we're going to see here. Obviously still raw in terms of some decision-making stuff, but the feel is really impressive as attacking off, off the catch. Look how ridiculously low and flexible he gets. And then simply finding this laydown pass. It's simple stuff, but this, um, I think I accidentally had this one twice. Just a very nice play that I enjoy a lot, so we can watch it again. But I think, I think Sar overall is a ways away on offense generally. Um, any perimeter stuff is going to be nice. The big man stuff is going to be nice to see. But I do really like him being able to create a little bit off the dribble. I do definitely want to see him, as this is a critique I have for like almost every young ball handler, is to stop picking up the ball so early. Like, There's no reason to pick up the ball right here. Like that limits your options. Obviously, he makes a good play here, but the defense was sleeping, and you know there were extending minute circumstances. But you know it's it's obviously more difficult, especially if you're large. But playing and like keeping your dribble here gives you so many more options to score, to pass, to make better passes. And even if he turns it over, that's what this is for. But Star was sick. I mean, he looks like a possible number one pick guy. He did in the Ignite games, and I think in the early season. And BL, it's going to look like that as well. He's really, really dominant. 